Hi guys, down at UK Golf Academy. Obviously, release of all of the new drivers has happened. Embargo dates have gone, but we are just getting round to testing all of the new stuff that's come onto the market. And today's video is all about the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke. Now, I've got the normal Max head. It's a bit weird in these. There isn't a standard. You've got AI, AI Smoke Max, AI Smoke Draw, and then, I mean, we can laugh at me trying to hit this later on, the AI Smoke triple diamond now for once the max head and the triple diamond head doesn't look like two completely different drivers obviously the ls is a smaller head with a little bit of different technology in it which we'll get into and it doesn't have the movable track on the back which the max does now you usually see the ls versions of clubs having the more adjustability but in the ai smoke you actually get more adjustability on the max than you do on the ls which i think is a good thing because most golfers at home are actually going to get fit into the max head over than the ls but we're going to test both drivers go through the technology go through the data i'm going to let you in on a little secret i've already spent quite a bit of time with this max head and i think it's probably my favorite driver ever so we'll show you the data we'll show you the numbers uh, let's get straight into it i'm going to start off with the ai smoke max head and then to finish off the video we will go into the ai smoke triple diamond the ls version right so first initial impressions at address it sits for someone like myself who i'm an overdrawer of the golf ball the ping even the tightest to an extent it sits closed that address i think it does and even the tailor made slightly it sits a little bit toe in this ai smoke sits perfectly straight which to me is like one of the main things I'll look in a driver. So straight away, if you're someone who moves the ball right to left and you're looking for a club that don't sit so toe in, then the AI Smoke is the one for you. Let's try and get off to a good start. And you middle it. It's so good. And the reason I think it's so good is because, we'll get into the tech with regards to their sort of um, deflection face or whatever they've called it but even off just off center strikes I'm not talking about if you hit it right in the toe or right in the heel even on just off centered strikes it still gives you such a good spin window I'll put the trackman data up once I've hit a few more but it's not usually in max heads they're super spinny I find anyway that they're super spinny it seems that in the AI smoke max head you're still getting a relatively low spin window not crazy low but you're getting the forgiveness across the face, which you don't tend to get usually. If you get the max head, then you, you accept that you're gonna have more spin on the club. For this, I'm actually like using the max head, getting the more forgiveness, but then still retaining like a really nice spin window, which is great. Like that's a strong flight that is. Very, very strong flight. It's good, isn't it? So if we jump into tech on this thing, what Callaway are saying is they've got a 360 carbon chassis, a AI smart face, adjustable parameter weight in, which is the adjustable track across the back there. That's pretty much it. But what they're saying about the face, which is the big story, we've all seen the, the graphics come up on social media, is it's an AI smart, smart face, which in layman's terms is they've gathered data from golfers all across the world um, and create a face which is more forgiving from everywhere around the face. And then it's also got something called micro deflections, which people on this channel know, I don't really go, like deep diving into the tech talk of manufacturers, because I do think it is just 90% of the time, a lot of just marketing. But with that being said, there probably is something in this face, because as I alluded to earlier in the video, I'm not always finding the dead middle, but it's performing really well from across the face. And it's not a huge head for a max head either. So if you're someone who is looking for a forgiving driver, but you don't want that massive footprint, you're looking for something a little bit more compact, then the AI smoke, I think, would suit your eye really nicely. See, a couple more before we move into the LS, which I'm not looking forward to as much, to be honest with you, but we'll make it work. It's one of them drivers that I feel like I can swing and hit as hard as I really want to hit, and it's not gonna be that bad. And I think it's mainly for me, like, the, the only thing I would have slightly changed on this is the carbon, well, it is carbon, but like the weave that they've chosen to use. It's very tailor-made M1, M2, like it's a really heavy carbon weave. Um, I probably prefer something that's a little bit more subtle when it's more of like a black crown and you can just see the carbon in it, similar to what the tailor-made team have done with the QI10. What I do really like is this sort of graphite 
eyebrow that goes across the top. It really frames the face. It's the same color as the face. Um, I'm a big fan of that. It looks really good from on top of the ball. The one thing that is a little bit annoying, and I don't know if I'm right or wrong about this, the little alignment line on the top of the crown isn't actually in the middle of the club. Like it's just off to the left. For people who are coming across this review, you don't know who the gold supply are, Hello. you're not gonna care. For people who do know who the gold supply are, you are gonna care, Georgie. Is that center? No. It's not, is it? It's quite a bit off to the left. Might be center of the face, but not center of the head maybe, if that makes sense. Do you reckon really center of the face, like that compared to that? Yeah, but you don't hit out of there, do you? You do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hit a couple more, then we'll move into the LS. The other thing which is quite nice about the new AI smoke is the sound off of the face. It's more of like a, uh, back to kind of like, the, it's not, I think we've kind of lost the old school sort of like rip that you used to get from like the old Titleist 913s and stuff like that. But as sounds off the face go as well, if you're one of them little pervs who like, like the type of acoustics of your golf club, it is a nice, it is a nice sound off the face. Right, last one before we go into the LS. And again, that is just, that is just prime example of why I think this driver is so good. That felt like it should have turned over 50 yards further to the left than what it did with how far out of the toe I've just hit that. So let's look at the numbers, go into the LS. So data with Max, you've got on average, bearing in mind it is straight out the car, hitting these balls, no warm up, and it is about minus two. You've got around about 279 carry. You've got just under 300 yards total, an average spin of 2,600, which is for how, from, this is what I really want to stress to you guys at home, from where I've hit that across the face, to maintain that as an average is super impressive, in my opinion. I can't speak highly enough, and I haven't, I'm not endorsed or paid or do anything to, to do these reviews from any of the brands, and I've actually never gamed a Callaway driver, but I think from the testing that I've done with all of the other clubs, all of those reviews are out on the channel. If you want to check them out, go give them a watch. I think if I'm going to put a new driver in my bag this year, it would be this one, the AI Smoke Max. I think it's really good. Let's all have a laugh now and watch me hit the LS. Right, so LS probably sits a fraction more open. Um, and like I said, it's not, it's not a crazy difference in head size, which is nice. The spin ratio I was getting with the Max I'm probably gonna be looking at around low 2000s with this, which is a good spin ratio normally, but for someone who turns the ball over a little bit too far to the left, it's not the most ideal of spin windows. But although I've hit a lot of balls with the max, I've not hit a single ball with this LS. So we'll see how this goes. Oh my God. That should really be one and done. That was a career shot. That was right out of the middle. God, get in the comments as well and let me know. From pictures online, I wasn't 100% sure on the look of it, but in hand, in person, hopefully our camera's doing it a little bit more justice. It's bloody nice. George said off camera as well. It is a very, very good looking driver. Really nice shape, really nice footprint with regards to how big it is. Face sits lovely. I didn't really do much with Paradigm, but I think it's a step up. All right, come on. Can we replicate it? I'll tell you what, boys. That is two for two career bests with the LS there. 170 something ball speed, straight out the car, dead straight, over 300 yards off the rip. Looks really good behind the ball as well. I know I've said that a few times, but it looks inviting. A little bit high out of the face. But there's no there's no hint of what I think's great from those few hits that I've hit there. There's no hint of that that like low spin, no forgiveness, don't get out of the air golf ball, which you find in a lot of the LS or a lot of the sort of like tour heads. Like if you don't find the middle of them, they kind of beat the hell out of you. Whereas this, this doesn't seem to do that. Until you do that. <laughs> Until you hit it like that. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Now, obviously, talking pro points around all of these drivers this year is it's not cheap. Comes in at 500 Great British Pounds, so about $550. Oh, 
but it's kind of apart from the Cobra um, and the Mizuno it's in line with the prices of everything else on the market so we kind of got our hands tied on that front if you want a new driver we're going to pay the premium this year I'm going to hit one more and then closing thoughts on this on this golf club unreal unreal so yeah ai smoke from callaway um can't really compare it to paradigm from last year because again i didn't review it i didn't hit it i don't think and if i did hit it, it was like once or twice but i am seriously impressed with both the triple diamond and the max head the max head for me is always going to be the one that i sway towards it definitely gives you a bit more forgiveness across the face the spin rates for me like i said the micro deflections and all that sort of stuff read into that what you will i'm sure there's some technology in there there are indeed don't waste money on this type of stuff so i'm sure there's some improved technology with this ai smart face micro deflections all of that jazz but what we look like in, what we look for in reviews and what we want to tell you guys at home about is really performance looks and price pretty much is all we're, all we're interested in and from across the face it maintains a very good spin number it launches i know it's shaft as well but it launches lovely and it is forgiving from across the face coupled along with it sounds nice at address it sits beautifully nice carbon weave on the top it's framed the same with the the triple diamond they are two extremely good looking drivers i mean you pick up either of them you're not going to be disappointed in the slightest if you've enjoyed the review subscribe to the channel like it send it to your friend 500 quid for the new paradigm ai smoke are you going to be picking one up let us know in the comments as always guys we appreciate you watching the videos and we'll see you in the next one adios